go into our first game here. Here we go. I'm hype, I'm hype. All right, looks like it's going to be Tan. Uh, Tang Yong, uh, Yong Shang on the left against Yu Yoshi on the right against Lost Box. I believe, uh, uh, Tan, uh, Yong Shang is gonna start first. We see an Orang Guru, Cramorant, Greninja, Confi, just a multitude of support, uh, multiple, multitude of support Pokemon in play. And then we do see the Confi just oh, gonna go hit the active, and we know what's happening. Flower, uh, Flower selecting here, and for two big cards. Again, we, we talked about how. How important it is to have experience. Oh, we talked about it off camera. How important it is to have the experience when you're playing Lost Box. Um, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about the deck. Oh sure. As you, as when, when you're playing Lost Box, right? Um, Comfy is your main key engine here, using Flower Selecting to pick two cards. But those two cards, one card that you throw away from the Lost Box, like throw it to the Lost Zone. That card's gone forever. Yeah. So picking that one card, like right now, throwing this Glass Energy might be like win or lose. For sure, for sure. Again, Again every micro decision uh, is going to matter here. And you know what? I was thinking it's just going to be the Confe, the Lost Box deck that's going to be working with the Lost Zone. I am was immediately corrected here by you, Yoshi, who's again playing Arceus Duralum, opening up the Cobras experiment, able to look at the top five cards of the deck. Draw please send to the Lost Zone. I don't think you, Yoshi, is going to make use of the Lost Zone, just like uh, Yang Chan. For sure. But I mean, Cobras is just a great way to really. Go through your deck, but at the same time, not discard anything. I think that's, that's really important. Because you, like, sometimes you might just need to get that hyper potion. You just need to dig through it, but you don't want to discard your entire yes, hand. Yes, or you don't want to, like, shove your hand away with the money. So, Cold Experiment is a great way to look at five cards that you You should only need that cheap card. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. And, you know, by not sending something to the, to the discard pile, it, it doesn't open an eye. It protects you from the Echoing Horn. Yes. By right. Echoing Horn place, that, like, that, that's how usually Valdron suffers sometimes. They yeah. get knocked out from, uh, like, being pulled uh, in Arceus V from, from <laughs> the yeah, Skyfall. Yeah. With the Echoing Horn. Exactly. And it looks like here, the two cards sent to the Lost Zone are going to be the Single Strike Mustard and the Double Turbo Energy. Interesting that the Double Turbo was sent to the Lost Zone because there is one in the back. Oh, okay. okay, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Not only that's the thing you're looking for in your opening hand, and honestly, as a Duraludon player, as an Arceus player in general, as long as you get that turn one attachment, you're feeling good. But if it's that double turbo energy, even better. Even better. That means you get to use the Trinity Star, a Trinity, 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 Trinity Charge attack to be able to power up Pokemon a little bit earlier. We do see a quick ball as well here from Yu Yoshi. What do you think he's gonna find? Uh, it's gonna be a good ball. I mean, I was testing you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I had to put my bets on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go, is the metal type Duraludon? Yes, uh, the metal, uh, metal type Duraludon, I believe with the skyscraper ability that protects it. Um, it reduces 30 damage, so effectively 250 HP, very, very big Pokemon as a V itself, right? But, but the way you can pang damage. 100%. And uh, what do you think the, the game plan here is for Yu Yoshi? For well, sure, it's going to be a Trinity Charge to get that, um, that the three different the three energies he needs for Dual Dawn VMAX next turn. Okay, here we go. Are we going to see? Yeah, there, there it is. It's, it's going to be a Trinity Charge fighting himself a two, I mean, if I had to guess, two metal and a fighting. That is the energy cost, energy requirement for the Duraludon VMAX. Just getting that early onto Duraludon. Very, very big. Oh, actually, attaching to the Arceus. That, Smarter play, the Arceus in front is in no threat, in, in my opinion, in a Lost Box deck, from getting knocked out. Oh sure, right? I mean, at, at most, Yongsen is gonna lightly hit with a Cameraman. <laughs> yeah, most likely, most likely. Unless he surprises us here. Again, these yeah. are world caliber players. We might not be able to see what they're, uh, what's going through their mind. Shout out to Yong Xiang's uh, energy cards that hit, they, that hot gold soul silver mm. design. Beautiful, Sweet. beautiful. I love, I love that energy <laughs> cards. Oh, look at that. Oh, and then the, the Espeon here. Espeon Psychic Energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too. And looks like uh, Yong Xiang is going to play a chorus experiment for himself. Uh, a little bit more use on his deck. Because again, the goal of the Lost Box deck is to have a sizable hand as yep. well as a sizable loss box, loss zone. Again, I think this deck is so, so hard to play. Again, it takes a lot of experience. You're managing so many resources in your hand, in your loss zone. At the same time, you're also managing what's in your discard pile. Yes. You're thinking of absolutely a, everything. There's a lot to manage here. So the, the, the checkpoints for Yong Xiang is going to be four, four loss zone cards for Kremlin to attack, seven loss zone cards for Mirage Gate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mirage Gate will help you find your deck for two different energy cards to attach your Pokemon. Yeah. And then 10 energy, 10, 10, discard, 10 cards in your lost uh, zone for Stable Eye. Yeah, so a couple of nice souls we have to hit here. And uh, thank you again to Yongshan for just making it a lot easier yeah. for us here at home. There's three cards in the lost zone right now. There's a Mana Fee and a Scoop Up Net. Scoop Up Net's pretty interesting. Normally you like that in the hand so that you can get your little 
comfy train going. Um, so whatever he drew must have been pretty important. That's a really nice hand. Though. I see Chui Mirage 8 in that hand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a pretty nice hand. Uh, it, any hand that big is yes. pretty good in my opinion. Uh, we, do, we do see he did use flower selecting. Again, that means he is now at the threshold for the Spit Innocently Cramorant. We're going to see a quick ball here as well, discarding a water energy. Thing. Something we have to talk about here is there's a lot of colors in this deck. Yes, there's a grass, a psychic, and a water. Does that signify a, a style of lost ball? Right now, you see the water. We, it could be. It could mean like the Radiant Greninja attacking, right. potentially even a Celebrations Kyogre or something. Yes. Uh, but what does the Grass Energy signify for us? Again, these are little clues that you have to look into to determine like what am I playing against? Yep. As your as the opponent, right? You're beating mm, Grass Equaza, maybe Rayquaza. Is it is it gonna be the Battle of the Dragons? Ooh, <laughs> that. <laughs> That's spicy. Yeah, I think uh, we were talking about oh, it. Oh, fighting energy. There's a fighting energy as well. I think that does signify that. that. Yeah, this is going to be the Lost Box paired with the Rayquaza. And uh, the amazing Rayquaza has the capability to really hit those numbers. Again, I think we were talking about... We didn't get to talk about it, actually. Who do you think is favored in this matchup? Right. So normally in the Lost Box, I would say Arceus Dualodon has enough, uh, en enough uh, all in the tank to sustain itself, keep itself alive. But with amazing Rayquaza, Yongsen can change the game about exactly uh, i mean i mean with the hyper potions as well those lost mines yes. of cramorant damage might not be able to stick and especially 330 hp is a little bit tough yes but the way to answer that is going to be the amazing Rayquaza with the amazing burst again amazing burst there's 80 damage uh times the amount of energy, energy you discard but it has to be the different colors that's why you see the little a uh, very colorful side on uh, Yang Yongchang's side of the field. And that is something that can definitely hit into Duraldon. Uh, something, oh sorry, we missed it, but there was a spit innocently there. Yes. Uh, five cards of the Lost Zone, that means Cramrant does not require any energy to attack. Oh. 110 damage down onto the Arceus V-Star. It was an Arceus V, it just evolved yeah. to Arceus Immediately, v -Star. immediately, when, <laughs> the moment he, he drew his top deck, it was just... Okay, I'm going, I'm going down with my Arceus V-Star here. Yeah, yeah Arceus V-Star again, one of the first V-Star cards to be introduced. And if I have to say, probably one of the most powerful V-Star cards ever printed. And we've seen it uh, been used in multiple different formats. It it's was the world champion. Yeah, it yeah. It's the world champion. <laughs> 100%. It just, it just has a lot of partners, right? It just has a lot of partners. Uh, again, it's a very powerful Pokemon. Trinity, Nova, attack does 200 damage, and you get to attach the basic energy. And then, more importantly, the Star Birth ability. Yes, so what he's doing now, like, you can search for any two cards. Yeah, and it looks like he just did it. There we go. He uses the V-Star power. Looks for two cards. What do you think he needs here? I not, I, Nothing really comes to mind. He's pretty much set up here. He's pretty much set up here. He's going to stay alive here and hopefully maybe like uh, fade out the Rayquaza mm. somehow. Mm -hmm. If, if Yongsen does play it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, you should just play Lost City. No, that's true. That's something of note here because uh, we can see it in, this, uh, in the deck list is that yeah, Yong y Yoshi is playing Lost City. Yep. And that's something Lost Box, again, it, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. That's one more card in the Lost Zone. But typically, you know, you're, you're really counting on your, your one-of attackers. There are very, very few attackers in the Lost Box deck. That's why they play multiple ways to recur those attackers with the ordinary, ordinary rods. Yes, but if they're in the Lost Zone... They're never, never going to see them again. Never, ever again. There's no <laughs> way to bring them back from the Lost Zone. For sure. So, uh, again, I didn't quite get to see what he decided to grab. I am very curious. Let's, Let's see your hand. hand. And, and um, uh, But yeah, if I had to guess, maybe a second Duraldon, just because you're going to attack right now with the Trinity Nova, and technically you have no target. You can overcommit. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, exactly. you're right. You're right. Lost okay. <laughs> your call was correct. And again, for folks at home that don't know, Lost City is a stadium here. Ooh, Ooh he's sticking off his engine here. <laughs> Draw engine here with yeah. uh, Radiant Greninja. Boss is already there on the Radiant Greninja. When you knock out a Pokemon with Lost City in play, it goes straight into the Lost Zone. And Radiant Pokemon, you can only have one of those in the deck. Yes. So with that, Yu Yoshi here takes the lead in prizing, going down to five. And more importantly, Yongshang losing his, uh, his you mentioned it, the draw engine. Uh, uh, Radiant Greninja, we've seen it in multiple decks. Concealed cards, discard an energy draw two. It's a very uh, key card here for Yongshang to lose at this at this point of time. And Yoshi's piling up the energies on Duvalodon. It's not for naught because he's going to use it to, for hyper potion later on. Yeah, that makes sense. He is definitely preparing. He's again these these top tier players, these caliber uh, high caliber players are playing the game like games in advance, right? So uh, yeah, but again, by taking a knockout on that Gradient Greninja, it puts it, it puts Yongshang into sixth loss zone. Uh, it helped him out a little bit, a little bit. Yep, a little bit. Yeah, 
He does have a uh, Clovis Experiment, which I assume he's going to play here first. Yeah, definitely. Before you use your Comfy. Oh, is that, is that, is that, are we going to have yeah, that discussion? Yeah, discussion, <laughs> that debate. Oh, he's going to use Comfy first. Oh, he's got Comfy oh, first. Comfy oh, first. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to have to side with Yang Shan yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, it's going to be a... Yeah, oh, the flower, flower selecting, easy discard Larium, um, Fog Crystal, not, seven not, a high, not that high impact of a card. The Mirage Gate is active now. Yeah, but before that, we're going to see the Chorus Experiment see, again. Five cool. cards sent two to the Lost Zone. Let's take note that Yoshi does have a big Pavasol attached to the Dualodon VMAX. Mm. So with big Pavasol and the if big Pavasol attached, if that Pokemon's in the active spot, it will not be affected by uh, any effects. For example, Stabilize, Lost Mine, mm -hmm. that would dump mm -hmm. damage counters, or a Paralyze, for instance. Yeah, so that big Parasol definitely uh, will help out in this matchup if it comes to that. But just just as we say that, the Lost Mine, one of the Lost Mine Stabilize do hit the uh, Lost Zone here, and Yangshang is now up to 11. Every card in his deck is now available. Yes. If he wants to Stabilize, he can Stabilize. If he wants to Mirage Gate, he can Mirage Gate. Uh, we'll have to see what he decides to do. Again, there is still around a 160, 170 HP on that Arceus V-Star. Not the easiest one to knock out. I'm not Ooh. sure. He does have the, the Snorlax. Snorlax. Yes. Snorlax in That's hand. That, that is that a way. That would be key to take that knockout here. And, and, uh, and, and replacing that Lost City with Training Court. Yeah, huge for sure. But not as huge as this Snorlax. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Here the, comes the big Snorlax. 180 damage. 180 damage on a basic Pokemon. Absolutely powerful. It does have the downside of going to sleep. You know, it's a big Pokemon. It's yeah. going to go take a nap. And then it has to flip two heads to wake up to as the ability. But if you're taking a knockout on an Arceus V-Star, you definitely deserve that nap. A one prizer for two <laughs> prizes. I mean, it has it, it, it has to be the play. And the best part about Snorlax is that, oh, okay, if I get knocked out, oh, I'm just I'm just giving up one prize. Yeah, if I sure. get knocked out. For sure. And we do see it here. Again, this is a huge part of Yangshang's deck, of the Lost Box in general, is the Mirage Gate. Mirage Gate, you're able to attach two energy cards from your deck. They have to be different types. Again, uh, that's why there, we see multiple different colors, but you have to have seven cards in the Lost Zone. Looks like it's going to be one one attachment to the Snorlax, one attachment to the Comfy on the active, possibly to retreat, yes. to pay for the retreat. Do we see another way, another Mirage Gate potentially? Or oh, here we go. Oh, the, the amazing Rayquaza hits the field. Second Mirage Gate gets played as well here. And with that, that should be enough to power up this Snorlax. And after after that, you have the Rayquaza to deal yes. with. Um, but yeah, absolutely huge here. Uh, what do you think is going through you, Yo Yo Yoshi's mind? I, 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 like, if I'm looking at the Rayquaza on the opposing side, I keep thinking, okay, I've got to maybe get Lost City out, get rid of that Rayquaza. But what then? Because then I'm leaving a fully charged Snorlax, yes. 180 damage, that can definitely hit through my Dualodon yeah, Remax. It, it's going to two shot, right? Thumping <laughs> Snore does 180 damage. It's massive. So it's it's like, now, now, I, now if I'm Yo Yoshi here, it's a little bit, a little bit scary. Yeah, yeah, maybe uh, putting a little bit extra energies on that Duraludon might have been a, a play that it could have gone into a different Duraludon potentially. Because yes. again, this Arce is going down very, very early here, and now there is literally only one Pokemon left in play. That means if there is, if if this one Duraludon goes down, it's the end of the game. Yes, and we do see there the double double oh, double hits. <laughs> Whoa, <Yongsan. laughs> that Snorlax is ready to go again. So Yongsan picks up two prizes here. Rayquaza with one uh, lightning energy attached from hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. And uh, that means how many energies does Rayquaza need? Three different types of energy. One uh, glass energy, one lightning, one fighting. But how many would it need to make a knockout on a 330 Ooh. HP Pokemon? Yeah, We're going to have to do a little math here. here. Yeah. So 60 each, right? It's 80 each. 80 each. 85. So five energies? Yeah, especially before you're 320, so... Okay, Very okay. Sure. And not the easiest thing to do, but not impossible. That's not just impossible. Just that's two Mirage, Mirage Gates. That's two Mirage Gates. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just two Mirage, Mirage Gates. Gates. All right, let's see here. Oh, we got Marnie. Okay, that's good. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> Absolutely play Absolutely huge card. Again, Marnie, uh, both players shuffle their hand, put it in the bottom of their deck. The player who plays Marnie plays, draws five, while the opponent draws four. This will disrupt Yong Xiang's massive hand just yeah. now. If, if we had, he had all the answers. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the great equalizer here. And we do see a, 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 a counter stadium as well in uh, Yu Yoshi's hand. That could come into play after you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it first, and then I feel like they're gonna bump it. Yes. Yeah, so well, you see, so Yoshi is using training, uh, Yongsan's training court to take the uh, metal type energy and attaching it to Dualodon. Yes, yes, Let's yes. He wants to use. Okay, he is gonna play Crystal Cave. So yeah, Crystal, Crystal Cave will heal all metal types and dragon types by, by thirty. Yes. 
And uh, something of note here, again, this is this is just comes down to the amount of uh, of planning both these players have done for this matchup is that Yu Yoshi knocked out the Radiant Greninja, sent it to the Lost Zone, in fact. Oh, sure. That means after this Marnie, technically, that's one less card that helps him draw. The yes. Radiant Greninja is such a good card to, to refill your hand. Especially after being Marnie as well. Yeah. And uh, that that first knockout, that first key knockout definitely helping out here. Because but Oranguru? We're, yeah, the Primate Wisdom Oranguru. Yeah, Pri Primate Wisdom Oranguru. Look at the top card of your deck. Switch it with one card un in your hand. It's a great combination with uh, Comfy. For example, you could um, put the card you don't really like. For example, he put better VIP pass in the top deck yeah. using, uh, using Oranguru. Then you use Comfy's uh, Flower Selecting to send Dude. that better VIP pass out of the game. Yeah, exactly. You know, why, why risk it? Yes. Right, right, risk it. You, that's uh, another hallmark of a great player. Is like you know you, you know when to to mitigate risks, yes. right? And that is just a, a key a key thing in deck building as well. Uh, we do see the flower selecting here. Uh, Yongshan's hands actually not <laughs> yeah, bad that's off quite the good money. Actually. Yeah, that's a switch card, Raihan in fact, and close experiment. Yeah, actually uh, with that. Uh, Drawing supporters off of Marnie definitely feels good. It's just a matter of which supporter do you think he plays here? Yes. Is that two chorus experiments? Yes, two chorus experiments, yeah. <laughs> That's not too bad. So all he needs now is to get is to load up this Rayquaza to take the win. Because there's only one Pokemon left on Yoshi's side. Yeah. Um in fact, does he have enough energy in the deck? Oh, is the it ordinary okay, rather helps here. out? because uh, something that he could do potentially is maybe play the Raihan, get the Mirage Gate. How many will he be down? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can he get to five? Can he get to five? If he does, he wins the game here. Yes, he does. He does. And uh, I, we have to see. Again, it's it's a multiple combination of cards, and no one knows his deck better than Yongshang himself. Let's, we'll have to see if he wins this turn, or maybe, you know, we're just going to hit with a cram for now. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's Chorus oh, Experiment. Chorus Experiment. For the Chorus. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's, that's, uh, easy oh, easy. Two cards. that's an easy two <laughs> cards, though. You don't need better VIP pass after turn one, so... For sure. So far, it's been the easiest flower selecting and easiest Colrus experiments of my life here. And again, just like that, off of Marnie, uh, Yongshang's hand is just absolutely huge. It's just a matter of what we what do we do now? Yeah, it's like... Nobody can go any further than this, though. <laughs> Glass energy here, and... I believe it might just be an attack with the Cramorant, because... Uh, it's yeah, a, it's going to be a switch card into the Cramorant yeah. again. Yeah. Just, just soften that uh, Dwellers on a bit here. 110 yeah, yeah. damage. 110. Nothing to scoff at there. Technically a three-hit KO. And uh, Yongchang has all the time in the world right now. But that Marnie was key, though. For well, sure, yeah. for sure. Let's see if Yu Yoshi can back it up with another Marnie. I think that's going to be key as well. And keep disrupting uh, Yongchang here. Ooh, just, uh, just as I said, it was a three-hit KO. Uh, yeah, here comes Crystal Cave, correct me. <laughs> Killing 30, leaving uh, 80... Uh, H oh, damage what damage. a boss is oh, here! Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> boss is here, taking out the amazing Rayquaza. That's what he needs mm, to before, get back in the game. I was kind of excited to see an attack, though. <laughs> but definitely, definitely yes. what Yu Yoshi needed. And with that, uh, getting okay, an Ultra Ball, Ball as well. Maybe maybe setting up uh, another Duraludon, or even just another Arceus, I think, would work out. Just because that's a little bit easier. Yes. We did see him discard a, a double turbo, though. Okay, he's going to get the Arceus V star. Okay, so, so just thinning the deck. Just thinning the deck. Just thinning the deck. Thinning is winning after all. Oh, that's true. <laughs> thinning is winning. <laughs> all right, all right. And uh, uh, we missed the chances so we can say amazing burst. <laughs> I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. But, but again, this is a best of three. Uh, that that's what that's what we play in top thirty-two, and uh, I'm okay. sure we'll have a chance. Uh, Yoshi takes another knockout, so he's down to three prizes remaining. Yep. Uh, promotes the Comfy here again. Uh, probably the ideal. Pokemon. Uh, you'd like to see the Air Balloon on the Comfey instead of the Oranguru, just so yes. it's a little bit easier. But starting the Oranguru, I mean, there's no choice there. Uh, 100%. And let's go ahead and let's see what else he has to work with. Again, the Rayquaza is down. Something of note, though, at least it's not in the Lost Zone. Yes, so you could take it back. <laughs> Yongshang here, uh, after coming off a really easy flower selecting, this one. Oh, this tough. This one's tough. tough. I that's think, uh, but if it was me, I, I guess the Mirage Gate. Me too. I already have Vaihan in hand. Me too. That's that's exactly what I was thinking. And oh look, okay. yeah, looks like we can uh, we can sometimes guess correctly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so ten yeah. cards, more than ten cards in the lost zone, in fact. Yes, more than ten. Um, you can uh, <laughs> you can do Sableye, Sableye and a half now. Yeah. Uh, let's see what Yongshang. Except there's one big parasol there to like. <laughs> <laughs> no, let it, no, let it do it. Okay, here we go. Close experiment again. 
Ooh. Ooh, he draws the Rayquaza in this one. Okay, okay. And he gets so a lot of Mirage Gate. That's a, that's a lot of Mirage Gate. There's a Rayquaza. Does he, does he have a way to retreat as well? And does he have enough energy to facilitate that attack in Ooh, the deck? Yes, yes, that's true. Okay, there's um, definitely an ordinary one is keeping oh. as well. He also has the, the, the Zigzagoon. There's a Zigzagoon ping. Oh, that would ping. That, that, would, do the, that, would, that would do the remaining 10 damage he needs. Yes. Yeah, that might actually fix the math here if like, he decides to pick it. Let's see. And uh, a lot, again, but that chorus actually is pretty tough. Um, yeah, this is a quite tough pick. If if I had to guess, maybe the two items have to go. Uh, uh, the Ordinary Rod seems pretty important. Unless, again, this is this is where knowing your deck in and out is going to help, right? If you know what's in your deck, maybe yeah. you don't need that Ordinary Rod to close it out and yes. you can take the... The, the scoop up man, right? But we'll, we'll have calculation in your head and that that stress of playing at top uh, at the top thirty two and on stream. Of course, of course, being on stream top thirty two. But I, again, Yangshang, I feel like is is no stranger to the high pressure scenarios. And again, there we be, go. Both these players are again playing for a huge prize. Whoever wins this tournament gets day two automatically in our in their respective national championships. national yes. championships, which is <laughs> pretty good in my book. Yeah, I mean, like not not going through that slog of day one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then going fresh into day two. Yeah, that's I mean, a really big <laughs> advantage here. One hundred percent. You're already a good player, and not only that, you're relaxed too. Sounds good to me. Okay, so he's he's picked from the Corvus experiment. He's picked Vayquaza, Glaven Zigzagoon, and um, Ordinary Vod. Okay, okay. Uh, all key cards for sure. I believe we've also seen a uh, Primate Wisdom used as well. So a lot of abilities used. We do see the Rayquaza go down. Here we go. Oh, there's no bench space for the Zigzagoon. It's just going to be a pass. Ooh. Not even attacking with the Cramorant here. Looks a like Yuyoshi he going for the Pokegear 3.0. Oh, looks like he only has one uh, Mirage Gate in the Gotcha. Hand. And uh, Pokegear, again, that allows you to look at the top seven yes, cards. Yes, take one supporter card. One supporter. And it, do we see a boss's orders? Oh, if you got this boss. Oh, oh it's Avery. Avery. Avery is a big, big card here as well. Avery, you draw three cards. Your opponent has to discard until they have... Three bench, uh, yeah. three ben bench Pokemon left. Yeah, three bench Pokemon left. And since uh, Yongshan's bench is full, he's going to have to lose two. It's going to be an easy two, in my yeah, opinion. So it might too. be just two calm phase. We're, uh, we're done powering up the Lost Zone at this point. But Yu Yoshi has the potential here to take out all the calm phase in play. Okay, he's using Crystal Cave now. So another another heal. Another heal, yes. Yep. As you, oh, that, I, you, that, that prediction then. <laughs> <laughs> and now I... Yeah, the Duraludon actually, again, it's, it's still just a couple more rate energies from Rayquaza to really get this knockout. And after this Confei gets knocked out, um, Yongshan will have access to stuff like Raihan potentially. You see here, Yongshan just yeah. counting how counting out his energy so left. Price for Yoshi here. Just straight promotes the Rayquaza. He doesn't need going to. For it. Yeah. He's going for it now. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he even has a Raihan in hand. He has a Raihan. Let's oh. see. Let's see if he pulls it off the Raihan. We've already seen him use two Mirage Gate. He's oh, not. yes. If potentially one may be prized, how many does he play? Uh, definitely four copies yeah, for sure. Four copies Mirage Gate. We do see the Raihan there. Attach a Lightning Ooh, Energy. There's only one Fighting Energy left in the deck. Oh no, but again, that's why he grabbed the, the Ordinary Rod. The ordinary yeah, run, yes. That would be key here. Because now with damage on Duval Don, all he needs is really four energy cards. Yeah, yeah. Not too many. Again, uh, Raihan here you is go. a supporter. You attach a. You can only use it after your Pokemon is knocked out. You get to attach from the discard pile one basic energy and search for any one card from the deck. Not too bad. Yes, so he's gonna. It looks like he's gonna use his Iron of Ordinary Ward here, get in two energies. Mm -hmm. That uh, those energies are not gonna stay in the deck for yep. long. Here's again, Mirage Gate. That's fighting that's three. That's three. Just needs one more here. Do we have the attachment for a turn? There's there the we attachment go. For a turn. And there is Whoa, amazing burst. burst. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see it. We got to see it. <laughs> Amazing burst on the Rayquaza. Taking a knockout there on the Duraludon. Taking three prizes, but more importantly, knocking out the only Pokemon in play and winning the first match here. It's lost CD, so yeah, that would yeah, be very key. Definitely. Okay, so Arceus thought. Arceus, not too bad. Again, as a Duraludon player, all you're looking for is an energy attachment for turn. Oh, that's the best energy attachment, in fact. So far, the Arceus, uh, the Arceus deck is just really coming through here for Yoshi. Working and very, very well. It's yeah. just that... Against uh, a one prizer card like Rayquaza, it's a bit, it's a bit of a tough, uh, tough thing to fight. Yep. But he's playing to his best house, and I, 
I think that's, that's the most you can ask for in this game. For sure, and we do see the Poke Pokegear 3.0 come into play again, getting the Avery once again. The one thing um, to note that if you, can, you can still play Avery if your opponent doesn't have any bench Pokemon. You, yep. can, st you can still get the Daw Tree. Exactly. Just not on your first turn. Yeah, not your first turn. <laughs> yeah, no smaller cards <laughs> in your first turn, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, but again, I think I'd want to see that boss play again. Early, Ooh, very, very yeah, early, early boss play. And we're going to see an Ultra Ball come into play as well, possibly just find the Geraldon or pro potentially the Arceus V-Star. Something that could be a little scary is that if you bench that Duraludon, uh Lost Box players are known for playing Escape, escape Ropes, ropes. Yes. right? That's, that's always my fear when I play against Lost Box. And that's, that means I have to find a card to switch, right? But, you know, how can you evolve if you, do, you don't drop the Duraludon? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to get it down now, I think. That's the best That's mm -hmm. the, the best time we can take it down. Um, so Yoshi only plays one Switch and one Escape Rope. Like uh, like most uh, Duraludon decks. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, you know, with the uh, Star Birth Youth. Yeah, you can find it in there. You can <laughs> find <laughs> it. That, that's all you need. I mean, there's only one place you can't find it, and that's in the price. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, fingers crossed that's not the case. Again, yes. there's still a couple of things that have to happen. And uh, you know, getting escape rope into the active and getting hit by the Cramorant isn't the end, of, isn't the worst either. Because again, you're reducing the damage with the uh, skyscraper ability. That means you're only taking 80, and then yep. you drop your stadium, you heal yeah. 30. That's not too bad. And you also have hyper potion the deck as well. Yeah, and well done uh, is a tank. 100% agree there. And yeah. looks like it's just gonna be a pass now. Don't, down to Yang Shang's turn. Ooh, ooh, just quick balling the Rayquaza. Rayquaza. I think he might be keeping it. Like, I mean, you, yeah. you play three ordinary rods. Pitching ordinary rod. It's, it's better in the discard pile than in the lost zone. For oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> so at least he knows it's always there. He can always take it back anytime he needs. 100%. The game. And uh, let's see what he's going to opt to find. Again, uh, he's just going through his deck. Another hallmark of a great player. Just, you know, understanding what resources I have to play with here. And uh, what do you think he tries to find? Definitely good. I would think in the early game, Comfies, to try to get the ball rolling here. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, if I had to guess, maybe just get the Radiant Greninja out of the way right now. That's something it. that gets immediate effect, right? Because it's, you know, Confi, you still have to get it to active. Didn't quite to, did, they didn't quite get to see. There we go. Oh, is oh. it my call, ya Yong Shang? Is it, is it mine or? <laughs> oh, he actually has another Rayquaza in his hand. Oh, two Rayquazas. He's okay. got two Rayquazas. Yeah. All there right. Go. Yeah, it's going to be the Radiant Greninja. Again, Radiant Greninja concealed, has a concealed card's ability where you discard an energy card, draw two. Not too bad. Also has a uh, Moonlight Shuriken attack, which could come into play well, yes. as well, since we do play... Oh, Yongshank does play uh, Water Energy, just like we see there. Hit the discard Ooh, pile. Getting whoa. the Battle <laughs> VIP one. pass. Always a good time. You know, if you if you open up the Battle VIP, VIP pass, you're having a good time for yes. sure. And what do you think he gets here? Okay, now, now he's going to come for the Comfies. <laughs> now, 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 now he's going to go for the Comfies. You know what? Here. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. And uh, let's see. Oh, a, a well, one comfy, comfy. One comfy. And then we do see the Oranguru. Maybe he doesn't have a way to switch just yet. Probably. But having the Oranguru uh, helps him like keep an important card at the top deck if Yoshi responds to the money next turn. Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, that, that is true. And uh, there's also a way to just dig one deeper. I don't think we've seen an, a supporter play just yet. We want to see the Colrus experiment. Oh, Can we find it? No. It's a Cramorant. It's a Cramorant. Um, it's an okay card, but not the chorus experiment we're looking for. I don't think I see a way to switch. There's no way to switch here. He's so dropping the camera, but he has to pass. It might just pass there. A little bit of a slower start here by Yaochak. Again, starting with the Manaphy opposed, as opposed to like the Comfe. My, you know, it, it, you see two less cards. Yes. So that might have mattered here. We're going to see the Ultra Ball now come down from the Yoshi side of the field. If I had to guess, we're going to see the, the Arceus V-Star. Arceus V-Star. Uh, again, the... The anchor of this deck, the ultimate support Here we Pokemon. go, stop off immediately. <laughs> stop off to search two cards. And what do you think he finds? Uh, energy card, well done VMAX, likely all supporter card. I'm going to say energy card, boss's orders. I already see the boss's orders on top he's of the deck He's eyeing right it, he's eyeing <laughs> it. He's going to take it. <laughs> Taking out the Radiant Greninja Ooh. again, just because again. With Velocity? <laughs> oh, Lost City. That could be. I mean, even just sending it to the discard pile for now means he doesn't have access this, access to it immediately. And we've seen Yongshang just have a little bit of a slower start, right? Yes. So, um, yeah, we do see the Duraldon. <sighs> oh no, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna see a new because the only one in his hand is uh, Avery. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Avery is not that bad of a card either. Every card in the bench right now is pretty important. Yes. The only thing I'd like to discard is Manaphy, but it's in the active. active. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't want to discard any of these. And most probably the Clamoran if he were to play Avery. But he's going he's gonna to aim for the boss, right? 
Yeah, well, but we'll have to see here see again. One energy cut. Let's see. What that, that's one of them. Let's get the a cut. Is could a be a Marnie if his hands. Oh, oh, he's found. He's going for a big parasol play here. And, and Marnie. Marnie. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, so he's already discarded. Oh, he. Part, I, I think yeah, yeah, with the Ultra Ball. Yes. The so ultra ball earlier. Yeah, Marnie, not a bad card either. But we knew we know Yong Shang's hand was not the best. So maybe this is Wait, a one. help. Ooh, that's that's um. Not really that. <laughs> I, see. I didn't get to see, but I was too I focused. Lot, I see a lot of energy cards there. <laughs> so the first knockout, you should take the his first prize of this of this this round. Yeah, and uh, he, he he of course says, you know, I'm not gonna forget. I need to attach an ener my energies to the Duraludon, and just like that, that Duraludon is ready to go. No no damage yet on Yu Yoshi's side of the field. More importantly, no lost zone cards yet for Yong Shang's side yeah, of the field. Yeah, and we're on turn two now. Turn two. Okay, um, so let's see. Stabilize. A that's, Sable Eye. There's a, a Raikou V. Okay, it's going to uh, use a concealed cards. Concealed cards first. Yeah, we do see yeah, a Lightning okay. Energy hit the uh, discard pile Let's there. See. Ooh, Ooh, it's a training break. Or and a Galarian Zigzagoon. Not what you want to see where, here. Where is the Chorus? Where is the blue-haired man? That's what that's what Yang Shang is looking for. Uh, we do see the Confei come into play. Oh, no. Two cards that he didn't really... Because he really set up the, the Raikou V to be, the, to be lost zone the way. <laughs> But he got a <laughs> VIP pass with it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, oh, oh, VIP pass actually is a little bit worse oh, we'll than that. <laughs> You'd like, again, just nothing usable just yet here. Just he wants to drop the Sableye and just retreat. Oh, you no, know. He's going he's gonna to sacrifice the Sableye. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you need your comp phase. Your yes. Lost Zone isn't set up yet. You're going to need, uh, you're going to need the, the cards that makes you see more cards in the deck and it's really facilitate your Lost Zone. Chorus really should help out here if he just shows up. Yes, we do this see is what Yoshi wants to see. This, <laughs> this is the, this is what he wants. He needs to stay in the lead here. Don't let don't <laughs> don't get any cut in the lost zone. <laughs> Keep disrupting him for sure, and have a boss's orders oh, in hand. Go. Get a targeted knockout. We know for a fact. Again, uh, uh, Yong Shang is protecting this conflict. Maybe you go you go after it. You know, not get him and not let him get anything in the lost zone. Yes, so. Yeah, we're going to see the bosses order here. See. What's the decision, though? What's the choice? Oh, it's going to be the Radiant Ninja. Ninja. Not too bad, either. This is a to get rid of his confirmed draw to next turn. That is true. And uh, uh, Yoshi's another prize. So four prizes left for Yoshi. And yeah, if I was Yong Shang, I'd be sweating a little bit right now. There's an RCS V-Star that's fully powered Ooh, up, full HP. Top deck. And uh, oh, oh, but I, oh it's absolutely. It's a good <laughs> top deck. <laughs> Um, well, I'm feeling a little bit better then. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, but again, staring down two Duraludons. Um, pretty much powered up. The second Duraludon has a little bit of an uh, awkward energy attachment, but Chorus Experiment, oh, absolutely huge. That's what he needs. Let's see what he finds off the Chorus Experiment. Again, it's look at five, then two to the Lost Zone. Pretty uh, first okay. easy choice there. Uh, Sableye hurt a little bit. But he doesn't. But with, with a big parasol on the opponent's side, probably didn't really. Yeah, that's fine. Play it. Yeah, he can he can go to the lost zone then. Yeah. <laughs> now there's three cards in the lost zone. He just needs one more to be able to attack with a cram ramp. Oh, but flower selecting. Ooh, this is tough. An energy, a psychic energy, and a ordinary rod. Mm -hmm. Throw the psychic energy away. It, I think that makes sense. You know what? Maybe there's only there's no energy cards yet in the lost zone, and maybe ordinary rod. One. Yep. Uh, pr uh, Provides more value later in the game, especially since he has a, a number of energy cards in the discard pile and his amazing Rayquaza, oh. and and the Radiant Greninja. Yeah, this will give back his Greninja, <laughs> but he's right. decided he's elected not to put back the amazing Rayquaza. Okay, oh, it just doesn't need it just yet. You know, he still has one in the hand, still has multiple ordinary rods to work with. Uh, does Quick Ball away the Raikou, and with that, just because the Lost City wasn't played, Radiant Greninja is back into play Here for Yongchen. Is this the comeback? <laughs> is this the lost zone comeback? <laughs> it's only two two prizes now. Yeah, it is still uh, it's still anyone's game. I think with Young Sang's deck is that nearly ne except for Raikou V, everything is a single prize. So it's, it's gonna take Yoshi to knock out six Pokemon to get this game in. For sure, for sure. I mean, he's four away here. I don't see the cleanest way to take a knockout on this Arceus, uh, Arceus V Star right now, though. Oh, so oh yeah. I, I, I in fact I would. Wouldn't hesitate to say that it's just impossible. Yeah, <laughs> it's so gonna it's be a camera and <laughs> spit innocently. Yeah, just spit innocently, and now that Yu Yoshi's actually just established right now, it's gonna be as easy as double turbo, hyper potion. What did you do on your last turn? Mm. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. the retreat. So another comfy. Okay, that's mm. another easy. Love the easy choices, and 
Yeah, looking at Yongsheng's yeah, hand here. Okay, so Wang Gu, the Primate Wisdom, the Clovis Experiment. Yeah, getting yep. an energy not too bad, but again, it's... Yeah, it's just going to be a Cramorant attack here. Here we go. And, uh... Beep. Yeah, there we go. We see the Cramorant is going to go ahead and use Spit innocently. Again, with the ability that if there's four or more cards in the Lost Zone, uh, the uh, Cramorant has no energy attack cost. Yep. The free attack. Not too bad, not too bad. Not, not the biggest attack, but free is always good. That's for sure. Uh, we're going to see Yu Yoshi here. Again, not doesn't really need to do that much. I wouldn't even evolve the Duraludon on the yeah. bench. Because the energy there, oh. energy placement there is a little weird. Here we go to second boss. Mm, another targeted attack. <laughs> Yu Yoshi just does not want to see this Radiant Greninja no. in play. No, he's not. He's, he's going to stop Yong Sung as stop Yong Sung in his tracks as much as he can. So you, now Yoshi with three prizes left. It's yeah. a vase now. It's a vase for Young Sen to get his card set up. Yeah, exactly. I think it might be a little bit too. Uh, it, I mean, Maybe. it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough because Young Shang has to take prizes every single turn now to be able to win. Yes, <laughs> there's uh, 330 HP is a lot. <laughs> it's good. It's a really uphill battle here for yeah. Young Sen here. Okay, okay, we go close this which is on the top deck, which is really set up with Primary Wisdom. 100. percent Uh. De definitely Marnie proofing there. A little bit Ooh, of a tough Snorlax. choice. Snorlax is oh, here. Snorlax is good, yes. Yeah, Snorlax is great choice. Uh, actually, that should be a fairly easy chorus. I think it's going to be the two item cards. I think I saw the loss. The Fog Crystal and the Quick Ball should yeah. be pretty easy choices, in my opinion. Yep. And uh, the Snorlax, that. again, should be able to take a knockout on this Arceus V-Star. That makes seven cards in the Lost Zone, which means Mirage Gate is active. There we go. It's just a matter of does he have the Retreat, the Mirage Gate in hand, and... Uh, energies in the deck. Again, there's so many things you just have to manage with this deck. and uh, But Yongshang is doing it absolutely perfectly. I think um, it's a true the close experiment to take this scoop up net. Yeah, not too bad. That is a way to retreat for sure. He goes. There's the Snorlax. And uh, do we see it? Are we going to see the, the Snorlax just take another two prizes? I feel like RSS Vsar has just been bullied by the Snorlax. This yes. <laughs> It's like the number one enemy here. <laughs> it's only fair. Snorlax has been avenging the, the Greninja back to back. Oh, yes. <laughs> but we're gonna have to see here if he if he goes for it. There's the Mirage, Mirage Gate. Gate. Calculating his energy cards before he does play this out. There There's a grass. He needs a different color. Oh, okay. he definitely, definitely has a different color. Oh, that was a bit shocking. Was like, I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was his, his top two cards. I got a little bit worried there, but again, full full trust in Yongchang. And he knows his deck. He knows 100%. his deck. 100%. Well. He's already calculating how many energy cards. Like. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He's playing he's playing the, the 4D loss box. Yes, this is <laughs> this is 4D loss box. <laughs> okay, Wang Gu to prepare. He's keeping the Raihan on top. Yes, I actually absolutely... What was it? Did he try to Raihan for another Raihan? Yeah, he Raihan. <laughs> <laughs> he primary wisdom the Raihan. Well, at least, at least he, he can... Uh, he's prepared for next turn. He, yeah, he, he definitely can... has Raihan for sure now. Okay. Go up net. Snorlax. 180 damage. And it drops the Comfy again, and yeah, it's just going to be a knockout there on the Arceus V-Star. Okay. Going down to t four prizes. Yes, so young left with four prizes now. And uh, now he's staring down a Duraludon V-Max. Let's see if he's... Ooh. Oh, oh okay, one okay. Hits, one tails. okay. It's okay. Then Snorlax deserves his nap at this point. <laughs> and yeah, okay, now it's back to you, Yoshi's side of the field. He's still key. Uh, that's all right. Again, at this point, if... Young Chang doesn't take a knockout. He, Yu Yoshi wins the game, so maybe healing not as important. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's definitely going to get knocked out. It's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to see the yeah, just a course experiment grab there with the Pokey Gear. At this point, I think you just take a knockout on yeah, Snorlax, yeah? Yeah. Because you want to get the guy with the, with the energy cards on. I mean, there's no really good ninja on the board. It's really too comfy anyway. So you just might as well just take, the, take out the guy with all the energy cards okay. attached so they won't get hit back in case, like, you know, uh, Yosa can set up a second attacker. That is true. And uh, also, just thinning out the deck as well. Here, up uh, the chorus experiment gets played. Arceus V and the Poke Gear gets sent to the Lost Zone. The good thing about, for the good thing for Young Sung is that, you know, not by playing Clovis, that means he's not playing Mani. 100%. Yeah. 100%. That means he has his hand ready for another attacker. Let's see. So that's the right hand that he drew. And now this is going to be, this is going to be a pivotal turn here for Yong Chang. Every turn is going to be a pivotal turn. Are we going to see the Rayquaza? That is the question here. And we're going to see. Another key thing is that Yoshi's Duvaldon VMAX. Not, it's not, if Duvaldon V in the bench is not evolved. 
Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that is a good point. It does have the correct energies now yeah. as well to be able to attack. Um, but not being evolved could be could could be the, the uh, deciding factor in the game later. That, that that is true. That is true. And uh, but you know, Duraldon V here can can still attack even if it's not a V Max. I believe the uh, I, I forget the name of the, the the attack eludes me. But it does damage equal to the amount of metal, metal energy, energy attached. Attack. And with two, I think that should be enough to take knockouts on any of his baby Pokemon. Yeah, yeah like one hundred percent. But not. Okay, so we got an ordinary rod of the flower selecting. Now it's primate wisdom time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't think is there enough resources. You only play four Mirage Gate. Is four Mirage Gate gonna be enough Ew, to do six hundred sixty damage? <laughs> um, he also needs to get a Vikaza on board, which. Looking at his hand, he might have to rely on Raihan to get to get it done. Oh, and uh, Raihan not on a Rayquaza means that it's not, you know, that's one less energy, that's one more energy you're going to need to attach yep, to yeah. Rayquaza to take the knockout on uh, on Duraldo VMAX. But at, at the very least, that one energy could go on the comfy for retreat. That That is true. That is true. That is true. Oh, it's like also the good. Here. here we go. He's going back. <laughs> He's going back. Yeah, I'm sorry I threw threw you away a little bit early, but I need you now, bud. Here we go. Yeah, there's a Rayquaza again. Ordinary Rod. Yeah. Shuffle. Uh, two Pokemon and a combination oh, no. of two Pokemon and two energy cards. Up to two Pokemon, two energy cards. Ops to just shuffle in a Rayquaza there. We here do we see the Col uh, sorry, the Raihan getting the energy attachment. Oh, to the benched uh, bench comfy. comfy. So All that right. means it's likely a way for him to retreat the front comfy. Yeah, that is true. And we... Do you do see him just eyeing up one Rayquaza right now? Just there's there's two. He's holding on to yeah. two. He's looking at the energy cards also as well in the deck. See how many how many energy cards he could get with Mirage Gate. Mm -mm. And uh, let's see here. Oh, there's an I, air balloon. There's an air balloon in his hand. Mm, there's yeah, an so air balloon. That's Sorry. what you're gonna use to retreat the comfy, and then hopefully, hopefully. But if he just if, if he does use the air balloon, then he can't retreat manually with the. That can come with as well. Yeah, that one's just a little bit of insurance for later in the game. Yeah, so you can use it later to retreat. Yeah, we're gonna see here the there double go. Mirage Gate. So one Grass, one Fighting for the first one, and then one Grass, one Lightning for the second one. Ew, but to be able to Ooh. do the max damage on Amazing Rayquaza, it has to be different colors, and that's just not gonna do it here. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna put it on a on a Cameron. Yeah, that's. Uh, Again, now at least it can't get bossed all. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We're going to see go the air balloon. Air balloon there. Attached to the Comfy again. Reduces the retreat cost of the Comfy by two. Yes. And you can see the training court. We don't. We, we haven't seen an energy attachment just yet. So yeah, there we go. That's the energy attachment. But this isn't going to be a knockout. Again, no, because the no, colors no. were incorrect. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just going to be... So that's 320 damage. 320 damage. Just 10 short. Is Zigzagoon still in play? Yeah, it's his hand. It's in his hand. <laughs> it's, it's like no, but now there's a oh, crystal cave, and that's he's it. Scooping, he's scooping. He's realizing it. Yes. Yeah, that's a bit. One, he's just one turn too late already at this point. Yeah, a little bit of uh, off sequencing there for Yongshang, just not having the right colors. With an excellent start here. Mm. The start, both players with an excellent good start. Good start. Good And like, love to see the Comfey at the start for sure. Uh, opening hand lit seems pretty good. Gets the Fog, fog crystal. crystal. Fog Crystal again. A card you're able to find a basic psychic or a basic psychic, uh, basic but energy basic psychic Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basic so basic energy Pokemon. Yes, correct. There we go. <laughs> very very flexible card. Not too bad there. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe finding himself a second Comfy. Yep. All right. If uh, if you were Yongchang here, what's the what's the sequence of events you want to see happen? Definitely second comfy. Try to get as 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 many cards in the lost zone as at most usually two. If you are like really lucky, you can get three. <laughs> <laughs> Come on as well. Okay, this is what that's that's all you want to see. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Really and energy injure. is okay. That's not not something you want to see hit the uh, this uh, lost zone for sure. But you know, radiant green is a little bit too important. Exactly. Okay, it looks like he has to pass here. Kind of retreat the comfy. One card, but that's a good that's a good board. Yeah. One Not extra bad. comfy, one Kremlin for attacking next turn, and waiting good ninja to draw. Oh, and we do see our, oh the double gosh. turbo again. That is three games in a row. Fantastic. Not too bad. Uh, the RCS V is just uh, it's just Yoshi's spirit Pokemon. It just it just is. It I just is believing in him. It's believing in him. One hundred percent. It wants Yoshi to make it all the way here. He wants to make his trainer be the national champion. Yeah, give him a chance at the yeah. national championship. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we're gonna see the chorus experiment getting played again here. 
I, I, I believe that was an RCS V and a quick ball sent yes. to the lost zone. Quick it's ball here again. Strike mustard. All right, finding. If I had to guess, the Duraludon. Oh, no, sure. <laughs> we didn't get to see single strike mustard in play this game, but it's actually a very, very good card in Duraludon. We have uh, single strike mustard. As long as the is the only card left in your hand, you can search your deck for any single strike Pokemon. Put it down on the bench, then drop the five cards. So you can skip evolutions. You can find any. You can find Duraludon yes. Vmax immediately. Like we've seen it very popular with Beedrill mm. in the in the in the past few months, but uh, but in this deck to get out the Dual Dawn instantly and draw another extra five cards. Yeah, that seems good to me, 100%. But, you know, getting the Dual Dawn V against the Lost Box, you have time. Yeah, you, you have, have time, time to evolve. You definitely <laughs> have time to evolve. And then get this, get this, get this Dual Dawn V fully charged up with Trinity Charge. 100%. Here we we're go. Just, yeah, we're just going to see the Trinity Charge okay, let's here. Let's see what's Young's, Young's top deck. Gonna need some way to retreat, some energy to draw. I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying to think if there's a way to knock out this RCS V. Oh, that's going to be tough because... Uh, There's only one card in the last one. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he would need a fully powered Snorlax with... A, a, I don't think he plays Choice Belt, but you would need a Choice Belt plus Galarian Zigzagoon. Oh, but I've seen, it, I've seen it happen to me before a few <laughs> times. <laughs> you never know. It could yeah. be a fully powered Snorlax with quad Zigzagoon ping. Mm. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> it could happen. Not okay. out of the realm of possibility, but maybe oh. not the most likely scenario. He was uh, forced to deliberate between... Snorlax, between Oranguru and Escape Rope for his uh, uh, flower selecting, which is another really tough choice. But I think Oranguru would work lo uh, much better in the long run. Yeah, 100%. Uh, we, we see here another tough flower selecting, but it's going to be the Comfey g g uh, getting sent to the Lost Zone here. We do see the Oranguru come into play. That's this is cards. just another way, means of... Uh, you know, protecting your next turn. Uh, yeah. hand to take. Oh, close experiment. Wow. Yes. That's Absolutely what he needs. huge. That's what he needs. Here we go. Five cards. Okay, that 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 Raikou is definitely not yeah, <laughs> not, yeah. not, not uh, making a difference this match. Yep, yep, yep. Easy chorus there. Yes. This this opens up that you know a Marnie play for next turn since they weren't able to prepare pre prepare the top deck. Um, I like how uh, a little off the game though that p some people actually have been prepping for this exact scenario. That's yes. why we've. Seen the resurgence of cards like Judge. Yes. Right. So, but unfortunately, there's no Judge here. So no. Um, but maybe something that we will see in the future. Yeah. We we do have uh, a Mew Vmax Judge in the top 32. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, it looks like no damage done here. They weren't able to retreat to the Cramorant. So back to you, Yoshi's turn. We do see the energy attachment there onto the RCSV and the evolution into the Duraludon Vmax. You, Yoshi, asking Yongshang, how many cards do you have in your hand? Oh, don't because one card, <laughs> one card goes <laughs> flying away. But yeah, you don't like that. You you know immediately when uh, your opponent asks you yeah. how many cards you have in your Marnie hand. Time. It's Marnie time. You see him shuffling his hand. He's a, he's ready. Yeah, he's for ready. It. He's ready for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Although but I think Yoshi might be eyeing a look at his boss as well. Yeah, that is true. Boss's orders into maybe the the Radiant Greninja again. Yeah, Why not? Oh, he's going for the Rayquaza. Oh, the Rayquaza. The okay. Yeah. Oh, the retreat, retreating the Arceus V. Okay, no, no star buff yet, but we're going to get a uh, dollar VMAX attack on turn. On his turn too. Yeah, and uh, I, he had to retreat the Arceus V because the uh, the Arceus V attack does not take a knockout on the Amazing it's Rayquaza because of the double turbo energy. Yes, we just, just, it's damaged by 20. Yes, and uh, I believe it does exactly 130. Um, Rayquaza, I believe, has 120 HP. Yes, a little bit, a little bit off there, but no, that's okay. You have a Duraldon powered up now. Back to Yongshang. It looks like Orangu with the Primate Wisdom, so definitely going to be the better VIP pass here. Go away, <laughs> and then he's flower selecting to <laughs> oh, <laughs> two battle VIP pass. Uh, not really, not really something you really, yeah. really want to see. Sometimes you prepare yourself, but oh, okay, okay that, that one, that one, that one's fine though. That one's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that, was fine. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> okay, looks like there's seven now, so Mirage Gate is active. Ooh, if, if we see a knockout on the Duraludon VMAX, that would take him. That would take him a, because in in this format, um, the player with the most least prizes remaining will take the win. Yes, for that yes, yes. And uh, more importantly, too, if you take out the Duraludon VMAX this turn, uh, Yu Yoshi doesn't have another attacker. No, he doesn't he, have another attacker. He only has Arceus V and no and yeah, no Duraludons in the back. Yeah, and he had to discard the double turbo energy to retreat that Arceus, that means he has to find that as well if he wants to attack. Um, oh, this is a big turn for Young Absolutely Sun. huge. To get the Rayquaza and everything set up here. Yeah, you yeah, see him playing fast. We see the Rayquaza. He's coming out. It's coming out. Here we go. A Mirage Gate. Gate. He should still have multiple colors of energy yep. in the 
in the deck. Uh, I believe Jakey's I saw Jaguar. Raihan. Oh yeah, the second Mirage Gate. Let's go second Mirage Gate. Okay, we're, we're 10 damage off now. 10 damage off from oh taking this gosh. knockout. He uh, needs no. a fighting energy. No colors. Oh, he's no. fighting energy oh, okay. in his hand. He's fighting in his hand. So just one there. So he gets so attached. He gets attached, but that's still just... lacking one. Oh, but we see the Zigzagoon. Yes, that's it. Zigzagoon go paint it. Oh my god, that's all, that's all he needs. Here comes the amazing Rayquaza. And he's getting the damage. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> one second left. With one second left. Oh, amazing <laughs> boss. Oh, oh my, my gosh. <laughs> Yoxiang takes cheap prizes <laughs> with one second left! 330 damage oh with support my. from the Zigzagoon. Wow, and, and wow, that was a big, big, um, amazing That was amazing! Turn. Amazing That turn, was yes. absolutely amazing turn. Wow. With that, that is time. Uh, Yongshang again, down yep, to three. It's time, and that's it. Yongshang takes, it. takes the game. He takes the game. He takes the game with that with one. That oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was an amazing game. Amazing. I am I am I'm at a loss of, for words oh, here. Oh, yeah. I am just <laughs> <laughs> You and me were both just stunned wow. at this point. Absolutely amazing. Amazing burst Rayquaza.